Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a lot of things really quick in Illustrator, which sometimes you just have to do. And in this case, I had to make a hill of beans, uh, coffee beans to be more specific, for the Sendero logo I designed. And so you see these, there's a hand cupping a large number of beans. And I had to have the flexibility because I wasn't sure, you know, how big the beans should be in the hand and, you know, exactly how they should lay. And I need to have options. So I used custom brushes. And, and you can see here, like, I'll go ahead and hide and show this layer so that the beans disappear, right? So let me get in a close-up here. And you can see what's going on. It's a little too close. So we got these hands. And... Um, I put all the beans on one layer. But unlike Photoshop where everything would be fixed on that one layer and you couldn't separate them, in Illustrator this layer is compi comprised of hundreds of beans, all of them individually editable, editable. So you can do whatever you want. I can shrink them, make them larger, I can apply a different brush effect and so on. That's one of the joys of Illustrator over Photoshop. In Photoshop, every time you want to make sure something is still, you can still change it later, manipulate it, you have to put it on its own layer. So you get these ridiculous drawings that have just sometimes hundreds of little layers to do the simplest thing because everything has to be on its own layer. Here in Illustrator, you, you basically use layers to um, help you organize things in a logical way um, to make it easier for you to edit later. But within each layer, you can have hundreds and hundreds of objects because they all will be individually editable forever. Just like this hand here is it's on its own layer, but if I tap into it, double click it, you can see all of these individual parts, all the shading, the strokes, the outlines, all of this stuff, is individual and it's important to know that because this will come in handy later on the tutorial when we get into custom brushes so so here we go so we got this this uh, uh, handful of beans and uh, what I did is I made uh, some custom beans here um, I'll show you a good one here um, which one do I want to show you would be a good example fix actually that will be fine so uh, here's the one of the beans right here. Basically, I drew one bean and then flipped it, uh, used the uh, anchor points, manipulated those with the direct selection tool, and easily knocked out four different beans in the up, upward state. And uh, it's a scatter brush, and the size is fixed, the spacing's fixed, and the scatter effect is fixed. But the rotation is on random. And what that means is every time I put one of these beans down with my brush, it will uh, rotate a little bit randomly. And it just gave a really nice uh, effect without putting in really effort to simulate what kind of beans would look like in the hand. So uh, I'll show you how they work independently. So let's pick this bean right here and get out your brush and let's do a little spiral. And there's a spiral of beans. And you can do really anything with these. Uh, it's a scatter brush because I want to be able to do this. Just put one here, one here, one here, one here. And just kind of just place them, right? And then I could grab this one and put that on top of there. Um, let's get some ones in the down state, so on. See how quickly that goes. It's just amazing. And uh, you can do stuff like uh, oh, spell words with them. Spell. Let's uh, spell my name. It's a pretty lousy version. Let me give that look a little better. There we go. It's back out here. So, and there. Now we're talking. Clay. La 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 la. So that's what you can do. And then I could select this line, this stroke I made. And I can go ahead and assign a different bean to it. This bean. I can assign berries to it or leaves. Uh, I can close this file, open it up later, and just change it again. So that's the magic of custom brushes. And here's how to make them. They're really easy to make. 
um, shockingly easy. So I'm going to go over here. This is blank area. I'll do it on the bean layer that I'm already at. And let's make some eyeballs because eyeballs are kind of cool. And uh, I'm going to make this a solid white um, right here. Um, I will um, I'm gonna skip a stroke on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that. And this one I'm going I'm going to make it black. I'm going to put it behind here. And I'm just going to click. I mean I'm going to shift and drag. Just make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to push it behind. And I do that. You can do it two ways. You can go to object, transform, uh, object, arrange, bring to front, bring forward, send back, send backwards. Yes too much. I just like to click on the item, hit the control key, and then do the left and right brackets. And that just pushes it. So you hit the left bracket, it goes to the back, right, and each time you click, it will take it one layer down. So that gives me kind of a nice looking uh, outline. I wanted some kind of an artsy looking outline, kind of off-centered like that. And let's go ahead and do the um, Iris right here. That looks good. We'll have a blue eye there. And um, let's, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and be a little fancy. Let's make this a little darker here. Right there. I'm going to put that right there. Shrink that down just a smidgen. That, that gives it a nice uh, little, little, little extra depth there. Just, just about right there. And uh, people got to have a Pupil. Let's make it black. I'm just going to fill it in here. Just drag the slider bar. And I'm going to, using the direct selection tool, just kind of rotate a little bit there. And let's give it a highlight. Right there. And make that white. There we go. Now, I want to give it a little bit of a shadow. I, th I think this would be nice. This is my favorite way to make this is a great way to make highlights and shadows on glasses, chrome, wheels, stones, anything. It's really basic. So I just, I'm going to copy and paste this right here. And then I'm also going to make a duplicate of them. And then, depending which direction you want the cut, I'm going to put one or the other, select them both. And then we'll go in my Pathfinder and do the minus the front. So there we go. We got that. And I'm just going to give that just a little bit of a gray tint for some depth. Move that over. And then I'm going to, while I'm shifting and clicking and dragging, so it stays the same proportions. I'm just going to shrink that up a little bit there. So there's a that's a nice looking eyeball. So I'm going to select it all. And then I'm going to um, object and group it. So now I have, see, when I move it around, it's all one thing. And I'm going to go ahead and then drag this over to my brush palette. And it says scatter brush. Yes, I want it to be a scatter brush. And the size, I'm going to keep it fixed because I, I want these eyeballs to, it'd be really weird if all the eyeballs were different shapes. So they should be the same size. I'm going to keep the spacing and the scatter the same as well because I want it to stay where I'm um, um, placing it. And... Um, and then rotation. Now here's, I'm going to put on random, and I'm going to have it go anywhere from six, minus 69 degrees to mm, mm, plus 69 degrees. You can pick anything, really. And uh, so what this will do is when I go to make these layer, later, when I make each one, it will just rotate a little bit each time, and it will give a nice natural look to it. So there we go. There's my, there's my eyeball. See? Right there. So I'm going to copy and paste that one I made right there and um, this one I'm going to now here it's a group right it's a group there's two ways to access a group you can double click the group and say everything went gray let me go back again see how the rest of the screen goes grays out that lets you know you're editing this group when I'm in here I can move things around independently and then when I click out of it double click out of it it's back to a group. Or I can just use the direct selection tool and just go in there like that. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit that way. I'm going to um, put this, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, this is my favorite way here. 
So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab this blue right here. I'm going to uh, stretch this out like that. Do this one. Stretch it out. See, see what I'm doing? I'm grabbing the anchor points here. These little squares on any sort of um, on any sort of uh, line, pen line like this, uh, is called anchor point, and that's what you use to manipulate things. And just kind of wrote that in a position. And I'm going to take the highlight and put it right here. I'm going to squish it a little bit. That looks uh, that looks all right. Uh, but I'm going to make this eye. Uh, let's go with a green. So, uh, yeah, let's make a, let's make a little bit of a, um, yeah, what the heck, let's go lock monster style. And now I'm going to make the bottom one uh, intense. Hey, I like that. So there we go. Now we've got a, a green eye, and I'm going to drag this one over as well. And I'm going to do scatter brush. Okay. Fix, 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 fix. But I'm going to make a rotation random. I'm going to make this one rotate, let's say, minus 59 to plus 106 degrees. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know exactly what that's going to mean. I just know it's going to mix it up a little bit. I haven't experimented with angles enough yet. And let's make one more. And this one, let's go ahead and um, let's make the shadow a little bit over here. And... Uh, Let's make this eye, this one looking a little more straight ahead, maybe right there. Just grabbing that with a direct with a direct selection tool. And uh, there we go. Let me get the highlight. Let me rotate this into position here. That looks good. And let's make this eyeball. Um, uh, let's go with the browns here. So uh, I'll make this a nice kind of golden brown. That's a little much here, a little bit of... And then this darker area. And let's go with the... Uh... Yeah, that'll work. All right, so I'm going to drag this one over. This will be my third eye. Scatter brush, okay. Size fix, spacing fix, scatter fix, random. Uh, for a rotation, and let's uh, do a minus 106 and a plus 76. All right, so we got our eyeballs here, and um, let's just move those out of the way. Put them up there, and let's go make a pile of eyeballs. That should be kind of fun. So I'm going to use my brush, and I'm going to start with uh, a blue one. And um, I, I still have those uh, selected there. So um, here we go. Let me get a blue brush. And let's put an eye there, there. See how they're kind of rotating a little bit? Uh, let's get some yellow, put a yellow up in front. So naturally, whatever I put um, next will be in front of the other one, right? So, uh, but that's okay, because I'll, I'll change this stuff later. Uh, blue, brown, brown, brown. Let's have one that's kind of stray out to the side. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, blue. I should make that one blue. Um, there we go. And uh, give me a couple more green ones here. Green, 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 and blue, blue. Blue, green, brown. Okay, that's kind of a ridiculous pile of eyeballs. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of make this more logical. One, get them like close on the same plane. You, you see, I just made that a little bit bigger. And uh, I'm gonna do do this by uh, pushing some in the back. So I'm doing Control and the left bracket. See, I just push that eyeball in the back and. Uh, this this one right here, I might want to uh, put that one oh, maybe right there. Um, put that one here. This one should probably go. Um, I I made too many eyes. That's what I did. Let me <laughs> clear out this. This is this is just too much. Um, so let's pile that one there. Let's put one that one there. 
so on and let's put something needs to be tucked that should be tucked behind right there that's where you wouldn't think that would be normally uh, let's bring this one up in the front to eclipse that there that looks good let's put that one there and uh, I don't want that to be too much bigger there Wow, I'm spending way too much time doing this pile of eyeballs. So anyway, so here we go. I got a pile of eyeballs. Um, and I'm going to move them out of the way because I, I just want to move them right here. So I just select them all. But, uh, of course, a pile of eyeballs uh, should have a, a, a pool of blood. So I'm going to do some easy blood here. I'm going to do it by using a series of ovals and making those ovals uh, red. Um, so like that, that, this. Some of these will be drops. There we go. Select those. I'm going to merge them all together. There we go, one shape. I'm going to send them to the back using control um, left bracket. Um, there, there we go. That's, that's, that's kind of nice. And then uh, actually, I want this blood to be a little bit brighter, so let's let's bring this up here, and then I'm going to make some shadow blood, and I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and make it a little bit darker first, and I'm going to make another series of ovals, but I'm going to put one under each eyeball like this. There we go. And just select those. I'm doing shift click, shift click, right? Just holding down that shift button. And then I'm going to push this behind all the eyeballs. So each one just kind of goes behind the next one. I think I got them all. Uh, so there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put this one. I want one of them kind of in the front here. There. We, yeah, that looks a little better. I need something a little random. And let's make a little um, shadow underneath that one, too. Uh, there we go. So there's a pile of eyeballs in a pool of blood. And uh, I can go back and uh, I can change, move these wherever I want. That one I can, I can have this one. Uh, I, I can make it, well, see, I just make it, I just made it smaller. But I can also take this and um, um, put it up there. Oh, it's falling. Now, you, you know, put a couple, put a couple lines here and, uh, now it looks like it's uh, falling. Make those strokes black. Um, let's give them this kind of stroke here, like that. Here we go. Now it's an eyeball ready to fall down and join the pile. So there you go. That's how you use custom brushes uh, to make a lot of things very quickly in, in, um, in Illustrator. And I just noticed something right here that I didn't like. I had a stroke on my little shadows, tisk tisk, and uh, there we go. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, so there you go. Thank you.